In this lesson, we will discuss the prerequisite checklist to the course that you're about to take. We will talk about the things that you will need to have ready before we begin. After going through the checklist, you will get a before and after sneak peek of a Moodle course homepage. First, I would suggest that you create a folder on your computer that contains all of the things that you will need to build your course in Moodle. The following is a list of eight things that you will need to be able to follow along in this particular class that I'm teaching to build your own course in Moodle. Here are the things that you will need. The first thing is you will need a headshot. In other words, you will need a photo of yourself as the teacher, the instructor, or the professor of the class because we are going to be using that during the de demonstration or during the building of the course. The second thing that you will need to have readily available is the syllabus to the course. And I would suggest that you have a Word document version of the syllabus and also a PDF. And the reason for that is because the Word document makes it a lot easier for you to copy text from the document and paste it into Moodle, whereas the PDF version is one that you can upload to the course and that makes it a lot easier for the students to download. The next thing that I would suggest that you have is the course objectives and outcomes. And if your syllabus is detailed, this information should already be there. The next item is your lecture notes. And different faculty have different ways of presenting their lecture notes. Some people like to present an outline. Some basically have a copy of their PowerPoint presentation and that's what they're using to present their uh, lectures. So whatever version you have your lecture notes in, you would need to have a copy of that. I typically convert my lecture notes to PDFs and as soon as they're able to download those. Next, I would suggest that you have copies of any resources that you want students to download. This would be the equivalent of the handouts that you would give out in a traditional course, an on-campus course. But these are resources that could include spreadsheets, articles, um, handouts of assignments perhaps that you want the students to basically be able to download and print. Next, you will need a copy of all of the assignments that you plan on giving to your students. Now these could be assignments that are downloadable or these could be assignments where students need to actually complete specific activities, assessments or graded activities I should say um, on your Moodle course. Next, I would suggest that you have a list of any external links that you would like to share with your students and have those ready so that you can simply copy that and paste it into Moodle. And last but not least, if your course includes any quizzes or exams, I would highly suggest that you have a copy of all of those readily available. And we're going to look at a couple of options for creating those in Moodle. It's extremely important that you remain organized during this entire process. One of the things that I like to typically do is I like to create a folder on my computer that kind of looks like this, that allows me to basically save all of the folders, activities, and assignments in one location for every single class. That way, when I'm building a course or in a, to retrieve any kind of piece of information, I can just go to that folder and easily copy it or upload it to Moodle. When we first get started with Moodle, your homepage is probably going to look something like this on Moodle. It's going to be very plain, very bland with really nothing on it. But hopefully by the time we are done, it's going to look a lot nicer, a lot prettier with some rich content. And it'll be very easy for, for students to navigate through. This is a snapshot of one of the sample courses that I've created. And hopefully your course will look something like this or even better by the time you're done with this class.